Now, Helen, you're going to do an experiment here. There, there's your sample of blood, right? Your sample of blood there. And it's got a mixture of different sorts of cells. You get hold of that, right? Now, you're going to pour it in here. Pour, pour it in there. All, all the way in, all the way in. And let's see what happens. All the way in, let's see what happens. You see what happens? The white cells, those, they stay up above. And the red cells, they've gone to the bottom. We've got a salt solution in there that's just right to separate the white cells from the red cells. Thank you very much, Helen. <laughs> so that's the way we do it with a real sample of blood. And, and let's show you how that works. Uh, <clears throat> we've got a, a solution here that's just like that salt solution. And here's our sample of blood, and Cynthia's going to hold it for me, so I can show you that the first thing that we do is we're going to layer that blood on this solution. So I'm going to layer this slowly onto this, onto the solution, and you'll see what happens, that if I do it carefully and slowly, it'll just sit there on top. because the density is such that that's where it sits to start with. Thank you very much. So you see it sitting there. Now we've got a, a sample that we did just that with some time ago and let me show you what's happened in the time since we did it. You see, there's the sample to which we did that and already you can see that just sitting in the stand a lot of the red cells have started to sediment uh, and you're beginning to see something accumulating there. Now, if we help that process by spinning that tube in a centrifuge to let things settle out quickly, then we get the following result. This is what we get. The final process. Now, can you see that? The red cells all at the bottom, the clear remainder of the blood there, and there's our layer in the middle of the lymphocytes just like we showed you in that model experiment. So that's how we can separate the lymphocytes from the rest of the blood and recover them to work with to establish what their types are. <laughs>